I shot him six times. What's going on, horror fanatics? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. If you have not done so already, please shoot this video a like. Helps out with the YouTube algorithm a ton. As well as if you're a new viewer to this channel, please shoot that subscribe button as well as that notification icon so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk more about this Charlie Walker being a live theory from the Scream franchise. If you are subscribed to this channel, then you know that I dropped a theory video about a month ago discussing why I believe Charlie Walker, one half of the Ghostface Killers from Scream 4, could be alive and could be returning to Scream 6. So, returning viewers and new viewers, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it at the end screen of this video so you all can check it out. So, what are these new clues that may suggest that Charlie Walker is alive and could be the one wearing the old worn out ghost face mask that we've seen in the leaked photos for Screen 6? Well, a couple of my loyal subscribers have chimed in on this theory of mine, so I'm going to share and read their comments from Lisa Marenstein and Vibes1999. Shout out to you both. They both had some really, really good comments that they left on my videos, and I want to share some of their ideas and see what we come up with as a pertains to Charlie Walker and him possibly being alive and returning to Scream 6. Okay, so the first comment that I'm going to read is from Lisa Marin Stein, and it was actually, she commented on my teaser trailer breakdown, where I also went on to discuss the Entertainment Weekly photo that was released where you see Ghostface standing in what seems to be somebody's house, holding the knife, wearing the old worn out Ghostface mask. So, let's get into her comment and let's see what she had to say. It could indeed be that they are parroting fans and might go like this, quote unquote, parentheses, potential spoiler below. And the reason why she's saying is parroting fans is because I made the theory in that video that Radio Silence could be parroting us, the fans, in terms of there being a ghost face killer who's wearing an old worn out mask that may lead us to believe it could be a past ghost face killer who we thought was dead that isn't dead all for it to turn out to be somebody completely new and somebody we never saw saw before so that's that's where the whole parroting you know in her comment comes into play so let's move along here i think those items in the ghostface museum are props from stab movies and are not real evidence it makes a hell of a lot more sense how would anyone get their hands on evidence props are far more credible this points to a massive stab fan, and who better than Charlie from Scream 4, one of the creators of the Stabathon. He was definitely not stabbed in the heart, I agree, because he did not die before he hit the floor. He could have survived. Maybe this is part of what they are parroting. Films bring back people who should be dead, perhaps because the fans want them back. Plus, Kirby is coming back from Scream 4, and Dermot Maroney's character is the father of a murdered woman in Scream 4, I think. Correct on that. So it's all adding up to point to Scream 4. I say Charlie is probably it. So to touch on Lisa's comments, I definitely agree with that. Like, with the whole, you know, museum, the Ghostface Museum, and all that stuff... I definitely think, you know, Charlie being the massive stab fan that he was or that he is, if we're saying he's alive, got to, you know, talk about him in present tense. This makes all the sense in the world for him to be returning, you know, as the person who's wearing that old worn out ghost face mask. It makes sense. You know, it does. She makes a very valid point. How would anybody get a hold of that evidence? It definitely would have to be props. And this does signal to somebody who is a massive Stab fan. Who is the biggest Stab fan in the entire Scream franchise so far that we've seen? Charlie Walker. So I definitely agree with Lisa when she talks about, you know, whoever this is, if this is, you know, wherever they're getting, you know, these props, this person is a massive Stab fan and knows their stuff. And I agree that it definitely could be Charlie Walker for sure. So now let's move on to Vibe1999's comments that comment that they actually, 
just left in my comment section late last night that I picked up on before I did this video. And they go on to um, say, in the cinema club scene, Charlie tells Sydney it's an honor. Same thing Ghostface says when he kills Dewey. Also, at the beginning of Scream 5, Ghostface uses the name Charlie when he's talking to Tara about being a friend of her mo mom's named Charlie. Again, very valid points. This is something that happened at the beginning of Scream 5. The killer did say his name was Charlie when talking about, you know, Christina and saying to leave a message for Christina. He did say that his name was Charlie. As well as Charlie does say in the scene with Sydney, it is an honor. And as we all know, in Dewey's death scene, the killer does say that it's an honor as well. So for even further clarification for those who have not unfortunately seen those scenes, I clipped them and here they go and then we're going to chime back into me and I'm going to give you guys my overall thoughts on another reason why I believe that this really could be Charlie Walker who is going to be the one in Scream 6 wearing that old worn out ghost face mask. Let me just say to our guest, Sidney Prescott, it's an honor. It's an honor. Tell her I'm from group. I'm Charlie. Okay, so now that we are all caught up and clarified on the clues, I want to talk about what Vibe said about the Easter eggs. The Easter eggs that, in my opinion, has gone overlooked, especially even by me. I'll even, I'll, I'll happily admit that. I've even overlooked these Charlie Easter eggs from Scream 5. But the Charlie reference, you know, obviously when Ghostface is on the phone with Tara. But another one that went so overlooked, and the more I think about it, it just is even more telling, in my opinion, was the it's an honor quote. That quote right there. You know, the only ever other person, the only person we've ever heard in the entire Scream franchise, other those words, was Charlie Walker in Scream 4 as I showed you in that clip with Cindy Prescott so when Vibes mentioned that to me I'm like wow you know I kind of forgot about that a little bit but another thing of why the Easter eggs are important right is we believe a lot of us believe that the Easter eggs about Stu Mocker are signaling that radio silence is trying to tell us that Stu Mocker could be alive well I'd like to think the same thing for Charlie Walker in that regard, right? Because we all say, why would Radio Silence put all them Easter eggs about Stu, offer them not to bring them back, bring them back at all? Well, I make the same argument for Charlie Walker. Why reference Charlie at the beginning of Scream 5 by using his name? And then why, when Ghostface is killing Dewey, why say the quoted line that he said in Scream 4? if there's not an underlining meaning to it something to think about for sure another thing though that is really really popping out to me right now now that i went back and rewatched dewey's death scene and all that now a lot of us have all talked about it we all believe that it's, that definitely was not amber freeman we don't give a damn what radio silence says that was not amber freeman who killed dewey riley in screen five however a lot of us also did say that we believed it could be Stu Mocker given the way that Dewey was killed with you know the whole taking the knife and slitting him from growing the sternum we know that Stu said that quote in Scream 1996 however much like other fans in the community have pointed out if that really was Matthew Lillard it wouldn't make too much sense for the simple fact is the height Matthew Lillard is six foot four. You would be able to see a very, very obvious height discrepancy. Now, I'll be the first to tell you that I believe, you know, cameras can change all that and can make things a little bit tighter. You know, however, even the best camera can't, you know, you can't hide an obvious height disadvantage. You know, it just can't. You can do your best to tighten the angle up and to make it look a certain way. But at some point, that height disadvantage is going to be heavily apparent, to say the least. 
and Matthew Lillard is six foot four, as opposed to David Arquette being five foot nine. So that's a mere damn near seven inches in height, right there. I now looking back at it, I would like to think that we'd be able to tell if that was Matthew Lillard or not. However, those who also said, you know, it's not Amber Freeman, but it's also not Stu Mocker. It has to be somebody who's around Dewey's height, which would be five foot nine. Well, Charlie Walker, Roy Calkin, is five foot seven. This makes perfect sense, especially if this ghost face in Scream 6 is the same ghost face that killed Dewey Riley, which I'm assuming that it is. I believe it is because of the bullet holes as well in the robe that we've seen in the leaked photo. If this is the same exact killer who killed Dewey Riley in Scream 5, then my best bet is I'm going to say that it is Charlie Walker, not Stu Mocker, who is underneath that old worn out ghost face mask. That's what I'm I'm going with right now, everybody. I'm, I'm setting it up right now. Put it, you know, jot it down. Marcus says it. Charlie Walker is the one who's wearing the old worn out ghost face mask, not Stu Mocker. And I think that the clues that I gave to you guys in this video, as well as the comments from some of my loyal, my, a couple of my loyal subscribers, I'd like to think that those two, those clues are really telling as well. And it even heightens the greater possibility, whether you like it or not, whether you like to admit it or not, these clues show you that this is a this is a real possibility of Charlie Walker being alive. Again, if we can believe that Stu Mocker is alive, right, and we believe that Radio Silence put all those Easter eggs in there for a meaning or for a reason, we have to kind of take that into consideration with Charlie Walker as well. Especially being that they are bringing back a character in Kirby Reed that is directly linked to Charlie Walker. As well as you have Dermot Maroney who is playing the father of a victim from Scream 4. There's a lot of Scream 4 references that is going to be in Scream 6. So it only makes perfect sense now in my opinion. And it, I understand some of you aren't going to like it. You know, and you don't have to. But, again, I'd like to think that the evidence that I showed in my theory video, and especially now in this video, has only proven even more that Charlie Walker could potentially be very much alive in Scream 6 and could be the one wearing that old worn out ghost face mask that we have seen in the leaked photos leading into the film. But okay everyone, that is it for this video. Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on these clues about Charlie Walker being alive. Do you think these clues are valid, valid enough? Or do you think I'm in over my head and I'm, it's just wishful thinking and that Charlie Walker is just plain and simple dead? Leave a comment below, I would love to hear from you all. Once again, this is I Shed Him Six Times, YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. Please shoot this video a like. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm a ton. As well as if you're a new viewer to this channel, shoot the subscribe button as well as the notification icon so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Thank you all for watching.